Good morning, Class A. So, I hope we are going to enjoy our English classes together, all of you. So, uh, as we don't have our textbook, uh, I'll be using uh, the pages of the textbook and you'll be able to see them here. Okay, so this is our first lesson. The first lesson, it's called going underground. Okay, so what's the meaning of going underground? Now, of course, uh, the literal meaning, that is uh, the meaning as you would take it, would be that you're going underground. Like, uh, suppose there's a tunnel, right, uh, under your house, maybe. So, you're going under the ground to find out what's there, maybe. Okay, so that is uh, when you're going to maybe find something that is underground there, below the uh, building, maybe. Okay. Now, of course, there's another uh, meaning also that's uh, as just uh, at the, uh, not at the, you don't take it at the face value, but uh, a little more deeper meaning. It has another meaning when you say going underground. Uh, it's when uh, you're trying to go into hiding. You're trying to uh, escape from somebody, right? Like, uh, suppose there's a thief, okay? So naturally, he doesn't want to get caught by the police. So he goes into hiding. He goes underground. But that doesn't mean he's uh, literally leaving, uh, living underground. It's just he's going into hiding. Maybe he goes to another place and, you know, he's living in this guise, right? So uh, that is also another meaning of going underground. But here in this lesson, we are just going to be uh, dealing with the uh, ordinary meaning of it. That's going underground, where we see that the uh, two main characters of uh, the story uh, they go under paris okay now the book where this extract is taken from is called dark paris okay and we see that uh, the characters go below the city of paris and uh, you know they uh, they want to find out what is there okay so they go there and uh, here just this uh, introductory uh, page here for you. Uh, uh, just follow the page here. In this unit, you will read prose and play versions of a modern fiction text set in a, set in a mysterious place beneath a city. So that's what beneath is means underground, isn't it? You will practice your drama and review skills and will read and discuss a piece of travel writing. Okay, so we'll be doing that later in the lesson. But uh, here we're just going to be uh, talking about this mysterious place that is uh, below the city of Paris. Okay. Now this extract is called uh, Relic. It's actually a name of a girl who comes uh, in this uh, story and is one of the main uh, characters in the story of uh, the novel uh, Dark Paris. Okay. Now in this session you will read a story opening and discuss different genre. Genre means different types of stories or openings. We are going to discuss that also. Okay, then we'll explore how key information helps readers, understands a character's actions, why they do certain things, right? Okay, consider the effect of story structure. Okay, the way the story is built, the way, you know, the plot, the setting, all of this, how it comes together to make the story, okay? That would be the story structure. And discuss and summarize your impressions of a story opening. Okay, that would be your opinion about how you feel about the story opening, okay? Now, let's get started with this. What makes an exciting opening chapter in a story? In pairs, discuss your ideas and talk about some opening chapters in books that you have enjoyed. Okay, now uh, uh, you all can tell me, you can think a little while, okay, and you can tell me about a story, about a book that you've read and a particular, uh, you know, the way you were impressed by the opening chapter of that particular book. What made you want to read the book, okay? Now, uh, what makes an exciting opening chapter in a story? Okay, in pairs, discuss your ideas and talk about some opening chapters in books that you've enjoyed. Okay, that 
we'll talk about that okay now what makes an exciting opening chapter in a story what uh, makes the uh, lesson or uh, this uh, the story more exciting and interesting so here we would think what makes you read the chapter what do you uh, usually like to see in the first chapter of your book so here we see that we see the of course like uh, you have the protagonist of the story always coming in the uh, first chapter in the opening chapter of a story now who is the protagonist the protagonist is the hero or the heroine of the book the main character and that person is uh, you know the person who you are going to be following throughout the story what he or she does where they're going and what they're doing right so uh, first we know about the protagonist of the novel now what makes for an exciting opening story now let's take for example the harry potter series okay i'm sure all of you have heard of the harry potter series isn't it it's a science fiction uh, right uh, sorry uh, it's uh, jk rowling's uh, book of magic right and you know where it takes place right in hogwarts right and you have uh, the characters that's the main character of course is harry potter the hero of the book and uh, you know uh, the magic spells they learn and the magic tricks that they learn to do and you know that the place is enchanting the whole castle where they're living right now always you will see that an opening chapter will always capture the reader's interest otherwise you you won't want to read the book right so the first chapter should engage the reader that means it should catch the interest of the reader so here you usually introduce your protagonist and you provide a window into the world of your story okay so now what are the things you would include or you would read in your first chapter of your novel what do you usually read there to make it exciting or interesting for the reader okay now you have to think okay because this is the foundation for your skyscraper for your tall building for the story that you're going to be writing so what are the things you should bring into the first chapter to hook on your reader now first of course that first paragraph is going to play a very important part so your first paragraph should be very impressive it should make a great impression on the reader okay so that's why your first paragraph is very very important your your introduction there is very important and your especially your first line okay now your first line it could be dialogue okay or it could be just a sound word to make an impression on the reader okay then of course you have an introduction to the main character now in the book that we are going to uh, the extract that we are going to read there is an uh, one person who is a very important person is relic the girl and another boy called louis okay so here you have the main characters being introduced so that you know what they are going to do and you are going to follow their journey throughout the book then of course if there is an antagonist that is a person who is working against the protagonist against the hero so you have them uh, um, introduced there too and uh, uh, you know that uh, the antagonist is going to definitely make things difficult he's going to have obstacles throw obstacles for the protagonist the whole time so and of course the protagonist is going to overcome all these so there's a conflict so here you know in that introduction when there's an antagonist that there's going to be trouble okay but of course your book if it's not going to uh, you know be a uh, action full book then of course you can just have uh, you know maybe description of uh, the surroundings right so there naturally that is where we talk about a setting okay a vivid a colorful setting where does this opening where does this uh, novel begin where does it start where does it take place 
okay like when we talk about uh, harry potter you know that it is taking place in hogwarts that is the castle right where they go to learn all about magic right so when the reader opens your novel uh, they get a feel of the place where this whole thing is going to take place and what is going to happen you get an idea of it also and see the things that are there the sights the sound the smell that your protagonist is experiencing these are all important things there right okay like suppose it's a city right suppose it is uh, the opening chapter takes place in uh, delhi okay delhi or a big city mumbai maybe so there you would uh, you would appeal to the readers sense of sound and lights maybe you say the uh, lights were you know uh, on uh, and burning uh, uh, down the whole road they seem to light up the whole city or you say the sound of the honking taxis because you have taxis moving everywhere so see by uh, creating the setting uh, you're taking the reader deep into world building you're building the world of the story there okay and of course then you can also have uh, uh, basically because here we are talking about fiction okay uh you have uh, maybe you might have a incident taking place in the opening chapter itself that uh, becomes the starting point for your main character's journey and then the eventual uh, actions that follow one after the other so naturally uh, your opening chapter should be unique and it should be exciting enough for the reader to want to carry on okay that they should want to go uh, want to read the whole book because you created such interest there okay so uh, i'll uh, let you all think about it for a little while and you all can tell me about uh, a book that you've read and the exciting opening chapter there so uh, you'll continue there okay so uh, i'll leave you with that uh, idea today there and uh, when we come back i'll be waiting for you all to uh, give me your ideas too okay and tell me about any of our book that you all have read and the opening chapter which seemed to be so impressive okay so have a good day all of you and uh, i'll see you in our next class okay